26. 26, 26. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Liberty Soccer Complex here at Liberty Middle School in Liberty. Tonight we have a matchup between Liberty High School and Liberty North High School. It is the Liberty Blue Jays senior night tonight. Just well, our broadcast is starting a little late, so you missed the ceremony for that. But we're just about ready to get rolling, so we'll have that with you. Starting lineups were just introduced as well. Like I said, we were a little late on starting. We apologize for any inconvenience, but... We're out here now, and we're ready for a great game. Connor, have anything to add before we start? No, I do not, and I am Connor McLean with you doing color, and we have Brady Mayer doing play-by-play -play tonight. Thank you for introducing me. <laughs> I meant to do that. Good buddy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're ready to start uh, in just a few moments. And goalkeepers for tonight will be Davis Falk for Liberty North, and I believe it is Ty Ritchie for Liberty. So... Like I said, we're ready to start in a few moments. Should be a great game. Liberty is 6-2 and two on the year. Liberty North, it looks like they were 1-0. We are not sure if that's correct, but Max Preps did not have enough information on them. But yeah. it looks but like both these teams, teams. Yeah, both these teams are sure. fierce competition. This will be a good game. It'll be Alec Rajkob starting the game off in the center circle. We're underway here. Kick goes to Graham Maddox to start the game. North has the ball in midfield. Alec Rajkob takes it. Passes it over to number six, Preston Rose. Excuse me. Lucas Porter. Bear with us as we get started here. Liberty North clears onto their side. Graham Maddox takes it, passes to Eli Ozick. Eli Ozick moving up the right sideline, passes to Alec. Liberty North with the steal. Brady, as this game gets underway, who do you think will score the first goal of the game? Well, we'll have to see right away. Like I said, two evenly matched teams, but it looks like Liberty so far is trying to make a push. Yeah, I would agree. They're looking strong right off the bat. Nick Olsen with the ball now. Kicks it upfield to number 15 on Liberty North. That is Carson Schmidt. Now out of, bounds. out of bounds on Liberty North. So it'll be a throw in. Alec Rajkov will take that. <laughs> Looks like Alec Rajkov, team captain of tonight. I'm trying to see it. It looks like a corner kick for the Jays. That will be Nicholas Olsen taking the corner. Shout out to the student section for Liberty here tonight. Looks like we have about 15 North to 20 tonight. people. <laughs> Liberty North, I do not see theirs. Hit well. Uh, Eli Ozick almost had it there. Another opportunity and the save by Davis Folk. Very close one right there. So like I said earlier, it looks like the Blue Jays are trying to make a push. But Davis Folk for Liberty North is able to stop it after Eli Ozick had a great header and then another chance after that. Yeah, great, great D by North right there. Save that goal. Graham Maddox with the ball. Passes over to Jacob Four. Eli Ozick will take it in the backfield and pass it to the goaltender, Ty Ritchie. Passes it all the way upfield, and it looks like that is going to be out on. That's out on Liberty North. So it'll be a throw in. Nathan Bills for the Jays. No, they give it to the the Eagles of Liberty North. Passes it in to Cade McKinnon. Nathan Bills takes it up the sideline. Keeps it inbounds. Out of bounds on Liberty North. So I couldn't tell there. He's trying to make a move, but just couldn't keep it in. So the Blue Jays will have a throw. Nathan Bills throws it into Nick Olsen. Alec Rajkob takes it. Gets it upfield. Nice. Good push by Alec. Nice through pass to Nick Olsen. Nick passes it to number 10. That was Bryson Gooch. And then it's hit out of play by Lucas Porter. All the way into the street, it looks like. 
Bryson Gosh, excuse me, I said his name wrong. Um, but yeah, it'll be a goal kick for Liberty North after that miss hit by Lucas Porter. So what are you seeing so far in well, these first few minutes? I think coming? Liberty has had some really good pushes up into the up into the north side, but North has had some good D so far. So it looks like Liberty is really trying to be the aggressors here at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I would definitely agree. And we'll have a free kick for the Blue Jays. Lucas Porter will take the free kick for the Jays. He'll be waiting for some help here. And actually it'll be Eli Ozick taking the free kick. Some perfect weather for tonight's game. Probably mid 70s. Just per clear skies. We were talking about that before the game. Just fall weather this yeah, year. Yeah, early fall great. night. I already know what's up. Hit well by Eli Ozick. Into Bryson Gross. And hits it out of play. Alec Crouch Cub. So it'll be another goal kick for the Eagles. It's their third one so far. Yeah, so, like we said, Blue Jays really seem to be aggressors so far. See if Liberty North can do a better job getting into, into Liberty's zone. Lucas Porter at midfield passes it to Eli Ozick, who's running up the side. Good through pass to Alec Rajkob, who takes it, and he'll cross into the box, but it's cleared by number 15 on Liberty North, Carson Schmidt. Good clearance there. Five minutes down to this game, you have 34-55 on the clock, still 0-0. So if, Liberty, if the Blue Jays keep playing like this, we could see a pretty early goal from them. Yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely chances. say Liberty would be the first one to score since they've definitely had more time on Liberty North's side yeah, of the Liberty field. Liberty North clears that one, but Graham Maddox is at midfield to take this one. Nathan Bills passes all the way back to Graham Maddox. The Reeds defenders are doing a great job of getting it back onto the other side of the field this game, this far. And number 21, Liberty North, Turner Van Duser will pass back to the goaltender. But Liberty North will regain, excuse me, Liberty will regain possession as, as Eli Ozick passes to Nick Olson. Into Jordan Gaona, who loses the handle of the ball. And this is brought up field by Gabe Lentz. Pass to number four, Jesse Duncan. And a good challenge by Eli Ozick there, but That's pretty Liberty spicy North right regains there. the possession. Pretty spicy, I'd say. Logan Young tries to play this one in. Number five, Cooper Potter has the ball. And a good hit, Ooh. but a great save by Liberty's goalkeeper, Ty Ritchie. And it'll be a corner kick for Liberty North. It was a very good shot, but yeah, Ty had that vert to get up there and just knock so that we over. We were talking about early how Liberty has had a lot more attacks, but Liberty North almost scored there. Yeah, first one for them in the game. But very, very good. Good shot. Number four, Cooper Potter will, excuse me, Jesse Duncan will take the corner here. Actually, no, it looks like that is Damian Dewey-Hardis, number 22 for Liberty North. Sorry if I announced his name wrong for any of you that know him. It's all good, Brady. <laughs> and that one's hit out by Liberty North. So it'll be a goal kick for Liberty. So some attacks for each team here early, but nothing going yet. These, at least in these last three minutes, North has done a better job of pushing it back. Not so just one-sided right now. Yeah, and I think as the game goes on, they'll try and each team will figure each other out. But Yeah, I think North is definitely, definitely figuring it out right now. North, North definitely needed to fix it more because Liberty looks like they're having a lot more aggression at the beginning. And it looks like that is a free kick for Liberty North. Towards right near midfield here on their side. So everybody will run back and get... Ready as Carson Schmidt took that corner, hit it well, but Jacob Ford and Lucas Porter are able to clear it out for the moment. North trying to work it in here. They'll pass it back out and try and set it up again as Liberty blew that attack up. So it's back to Carson Schmidt at midfield. Another good hit, but Graham Maddox is able to keep that one out. It'll be a free kick for Liberty. 
So some solid defense there here at the beginning from Liberty. At first we saw some solid defense from North and now it's Liberty, so see if the tide turns at all. As Ty Ritchie takes the free kick. Hits that into Nicholson. He takes it to the side, but it's out of bounds. Gabe Lentz will throw it in for Liberty North. Gets that into Cade McKinnon. It's off, Liberty's off Liberty North, so Nathan Bills will throw it in. We have a sub here. Got some sophomores coming in the game right now. Yeah, so Liberty, Liberty makes a few subs here early, assuming that we got some tired legs from the three seniors that have just been taken out. But I'd say a great t first ten minutes for these three, those three seniors, though. Yeah, great job defensively. Nick Olson pushes it up, tries to get it through. Bryson Gosh has it in the midfield. Passes over to Lucas Porter. Alec, oh, Alec Rajkov over in the corner, and offside. looks like we have offsides on the Blue Jays. So just a little too aggressive on that attack there. And it'll be a Liberty North free kick. It's probably the first time that they were too aggressive. Most of their aggressivity has worked most of this game so far. Nice Great header, header by Eli Ozick there. Out of bounds, out of bounds on though. north side. Yeah, like you were saying there, so far they've had some good attacks, but it's kind of turned in the last few minutes. Liberty North's had more attacks. So we are 10 minutes down now. We have 29.38 on the clock. <laughs> oh, no. Clear right towards us. And it'll Ball be almost hit us. Liberty throw in but right at midfield good. by Jaden Farmond. Throw by Liberty North. Goes to Cade McKinnon. Good pass there by Liberty North. Lucas Porter with the steal for Liberty. And that one just barely went out. Almost almost able to work that attack up the sideline, but it'll be a throw in for Liberty North. Once again goes into Cade McKinnon, but Jordan Guyana is able to retain possession for the Blue Jays. Graham Maddox crosses it to across midfield. And it looks like that is number 18 for Liberty, Frank Fuentes. Trying to play the ball on the sideline, but it goes out, and it'll be a throw-in for Liberty North. Bryson Gosh working it in, passes it to number eight, Joel Litton there. Now Alec Rajkov has it in the corner. And it looks like it'll be a corner for the Blue Jays. So a few corner kicks here early for the Jays. Nice to get a few set pieces early and some opportunities. Last time, Eli Ozick had two opportunities off of the corner kick. So we'll see what the Jays can do here. You, do you think they'll score off this one? We'll see what happens here. It does not look so like it. And it looks like that one's blown up by Liberty North. So the Liberty gets the ball back. And Liberty North has a chance to push it up the side on here. That's number 16, Gabe Lentz taking it. And passes it out. Nicholson will take the throw. Go once again out of bounds. Jaden Farman will take the throw for the Blue Jays near midfield. Long throw towards the corner. And Bryson Gosh makes a good play to get the ball over there in the corner. So the Blue Jays with another opportunity. Nick Olson now with the ball, taking it in. He still has it in the box. Crosses it across, and he's not able to connect with Alec Rochkob. But Alec will keep it and hit it out. So it'll be a goal kick for Liberty North. Goal kick, Eagles checking in for the Eagles. Number eight, Henry Kege, and number 12, Carson Kopp. So a couple subs here for the Eagles. Liberty has definitely gained more control in getting it back on their side, or on north side of the field, in those last five minutes. 
Yeah, so I'd say so far in this game, Liberty has been definitely had a lot more opportunities and been the better attacking team. But I Liberty North's agree. defense has held strong so far. Another good header by Eli Ozick. Jordan Gayona plays it in midfield. Passes it out to Frank Fuentes and it deflects off number eight on Liberty North. Both teams Henry have a hard Kage. time keeping it out of bounds. That one into Lucas Porter. Makes a good run in. Gets Ooh, it to Liberty. Bryson Gosh, but Liberty North able to clear that one out of there. Grant Maddox will run back for the ball. Passes it across to Eli Ozick. A good pass up the sideline to Frank Fuentes. Good pass across, but once again, Liberty North able to clear it. But yeah, like you said, just again. Yeah, Gabe, Liberty, Lin Gabe Lentz has had so many clears this game for North. Yeah, great Liberty, defending from him. Liberty's had a lot of chances, but yeah, like you said, Gabe Lentz, great defense. Probably the defensive MVP so far for Liberty North. Yeah, he just had so many clears. This one goes to Cade McKinnon in midfield. And maybe a controversial challenge there by Eli Ozick, but no call there. They just let that one go. Graham Maddox with the clear. Lucas Porter able to take it for the Jays. And that one goes out. So it'll be another goal kick, I believe, for the Eagles. They've tried to work it into the corner to Algarajkov a few times now for the Blue Jays. Not able to get anything going yet, though. And just another another header by Eli Ozick. Seems like it's gone to him the last three times. Every time they try it, he yeah, was right, able to right, blow yeah. that play up. Exactly. Alec playing the ball in here. Nice moves right there from Alec. North able to clear it out again. Eli Ozick point on the side on, but North will regain possession. Ooh. And that is a big push there from Alec Rajkov. Him and looks like he might have tripped. Him and number right there. twenty-two, Damian Theor Haridis. Do you, do you think that like he tripped, or do you think that he did that on purpose? I think they just got tangled up there. Yeah, so agree, it's just a free kick for Liberty North. That's why there's no card on that play. Nothing too flagrant, just a physical play. This one passed in for Liberty North, and Lucas Porter is able to regain possession, cleared by Eli Ozick. On to Bryson Gosh. Playing it to the corner, see if he can get across or a good attack for the Blue Jays here. Still with the ball, and he passes it to Jaden Faramon, who passes it to Lucas Porter. Lots of back and forth right here. Yeah, and Liberty North, number four for Liberty North, Jesse Duncan able to get the steal, but then back to Fuentes for Liberty. Liberty doing a great job of keeping on North side. Joel Litton plays that one in. Looks like it's gonna go out of bounds. Yeah, so another goal kick for Liberty North. So obviously a lot of a lot of unsuccessful attacks so far for Liberty, but they're chipping away at it. It's As we're third. almost halfway through this first half. Yes, yeah, this is the third goal kick for Liberty North in the last like five, three to five minutes. Yeah, like we said, Blue Jays chipping away at it a lot. Liberty North needs to try and get something going. They've only had a couple opportunities so far. That time not going to Eli Ozick. So it seems like it always <laughs> is. Got a streak going there. Jaden Fairmont. Ooh, keeps it in bounds. Nick Olsen able to keep it in here right in front of us on the sideline. And then Bryson Gosh in midfield again. Ooh. Good, good play there. To Bryson cross number one, Caden Bujak. Yeah. Actually, that's not Caden. Yeah, that's not Caden. There's two number so ones for numbers North. Wrong. <laughs> There's two number ones for North, apparently. Ooh, it looks like a shot might Jayden be. Jaden Fairmont. Oh, set up for Liberty ball, right here. Lucas Porter is able to keep it alive. They got a straightaway shot here if they can get somebody open. Looks like he's going to pass it to Alec. Nope, nope. He's able to make a good play. But he'll pass it back out to Jordan Gayona, who passed it to Jaden Fairmond. And Gabe Lentz once again clears Gabe that Lentz out. Gabe Lentz once again clears <laughs> it. Lots of good defense from him. 
Graham Maddox and Cade McKinnon running back. Graham will keep it. Liberty will push it right back onto north side. Passes it to Bryson Gosh, who passes over to Jaden Fairmont. And once again, Liberty looks poised to make an attack here. But Damien, I'm just going to start calling him Damien so I don't keep butchering his last name. <laughs> Number 22 on Liberty North. Passes, Jaden Fairmont passes to Ty Ritchie stays, in the box. Stays the safe way. That's the closest Liberty North's been to And in the last like 10 shot. minutes, I yeah. think that's the North's the closest they've been. Bryson Gosh pushing it upfield. Looks to have a good Ooh. opportunity if he can get it in here. Here we go. Oh. Lucas Porter crosses to Nick Olson. Olson crosses to Rotch Cobb. North will clear it out here. Eli Ozick takes it in the backfield. You have 20-35 on the clock. Score still 0-0 in the first half. Yep, so just about halfway through this first half. Liberty's definitely looked like the better team so far offensively. Yeah, Liberty North's very, held strong defensively, though. Liberty's looking really dialed in here on offense. Bryson Gosh in the middle of the field. Passes it to Jordan Gaona. And he hits it well. Nice save. Great save, save there by Davis Falk. Diving save by Davis. Ball is still alive here. Save by Davis. Liberty have another opportunity on the cross to Roger Cobb. A little bit over his head into the opposite corner. He'll try and play it in. Another cross here. Just over the head of Lucas Porter there in the box. And they say play on. That's a questionable call there. They, Jane Fairmont might have been pushed, but really the rest looks will like let that one been. go. Student section for Liberty is not too happy about that one. No, right in front of them there, they looked a little bit mad <laughs> about that call. But sometimes you, they just let them go. That's how it is in soccer. A little, little, um, a little chippy so far. I mean, what do you from, expect from Caden? Rivalry. Yeah, from Caden, uh, McKinnon, and Eli Ozick right there. Getting a little chippy. Bryson Gosh will look to push it upfield. I'm kind of happy to see that the rivalry is coming back right now. It At is, first, I didn't think they were there, just being really classy and respectful of each other, but now they're kind of like going after it. Jaden Fairmont with opportunity to cross it in. And, oh and it goes gosh. in. It looks like an own goal on Liberty North. They did not expect that, it looked like. But yeah, Joel Litton with that and goal. No, it wasn't an own goal. It was a tap in by Joel Litton. That looked like. I mean, obviously, it wasn't an accident. Davis Folk was not ready for that. Davis Folk was not able to stop that one as it slowly rolled inside the post. 1904 so the on the clock. Liberty is up one nothing of the first half. And it felt like it felt like it was just a matter of time before Liberty scored here early. They had so many attacks. Yeah, definitely did. And there's some question. We don't know if it was an own goal or if Joel Litton scored on that. Maybe I thought it was an own goal. Yeah, it looked it like it went off like of Liberty North. Angle. Either way, Liberty, Nor Liberty is now up one nothing on Liberty North. Brady, do you think this will spark like some motivation for the uh, Eagles here? Well, I mean, that's that's always the hope. You, once you go down, I think it sometimes can hit. Mm -hmm. That's more of a reality that you need to start making more pushes. But yeah, maybe we'll like see. I said, Liberty's defense has just been able to keep it on the offensive side of the field for most of this game. Every time North tries to make an attack. That one hit out of bounds right in front of us. Liberty North will have the throw in. And this is closest they've been to being able to have an attack here in a while. But Nathan Bill's able to hit it and Eli Ozick clears it out. There's Gabe Lentz right in front of us. Plays it to number 12 for Liberty North. Carson, Carson Crop. Who hits it into Jesse Duncan. Duncan tries to cross, but it's out of bounds, so it will be a goal kick for Liberty. Nice push here from North. Oh, it was offside. Excuse me. Looks like they did. They, maybe a spark was lightened right here for the Eagles. Yeah, we'll see if they can. We'll see if they can get more motivation after finally having an opportunity. Definitely making the game more exciting. Really back and forth. That's what I'm hoping for. Goalkeeper Richie hits it out for the Blue Jays. Nathan Bill is able to keep that one in the middle of the field. And once again, Gabe Lentz with the ball on the defensive side of the field. Got to say, it back to number nine, 
Sam Uggleston for Liberty North. I gotta say, Gabe Lentz definitely has, definitely has the most flashy shoe game in this game. Bright orange shoes. Yeah, Gabe Lentz is really making a showing defensively tonight. We've already else, touched on that once. Who else would you say has good shoe game? I say number eight for North. Henry, yeah, Henry definitely has some nice shoe game. Say Luke Porter has some shiny shoes as well. I wonder if but the shininess helps, like go faster or something. The shoes, shoes can only do so much though. And Liberty true, North's down true. on the scoreboard. I know this is out of context, but the cross country team, I know Cage Leninger, he wears pit vipers when he runs, and that definitely makes him go faster. Yeah. I mean, if you feel good, you definitely play good. That's that's for sure. It is, but like we said, Liberty North down one nothing here. I, I meant to say you look good. You look good. My mistake. <laughs> they now have Liberty North now has possession. This is the most possession time they've had at once in a while. This, this ball played into Jesse Duncan and a miss hit there. Nathan Bills will take it up the sideline. And he goes down and it'll be a penalty on it'll be a foul on Jesse Duncan for Liberty North. So. Looks like Eli Ozick will come up to take the free kick from the sideline. Once again, Liberty with a set piece. They've just had so many more opportunities so far. Nice good, kick from Eli Ozick. Good hit in Nick Olson with the header. Goal. Able to hit that one in past Davis Folk. Header in, into the goal right there. And Liberty will take a 2-0 lead over Liberty North. Great kick that? there by Eli Ozick. Nick Olson, number yeah, two Nick on Olson. the Blue Jays, is able to score that with the header. But Very smooth right off the, right have off been the able kick. To, just wouldn't have been right able to there. happen without the kick from Eli Ozick. Yeah, that was perfect. Nice curve to that. Very nice thing. kick there. From that far out, you usually don't see set pieces going straight to the goal like that, but that was a perfect kick. So half North now in a 2-0 deficit. Only we'll try and get something halfway going. Halfway through the first half, as it's 15:48 on the clock, got two nothing Liberty Blue Jays. Nathan Bills takes it, hits it up to upfield, and now Liberty will have it again. Nick Olson trying to make a push. Open field right here. Oh, and a nice good save defense. by Davis Falk there. Yeah, great defense by the Eagles right there. Alec Rochkot was able to keep it in there, but the Eagles will clear it. And now Fuentes has the ball for the Jays. Over to Graham Maddox. Passes to Bryson Gosh. Gosh has had a lot of dribbling in the middle of the field so far with the ball tonight. Ooh. Oh, and it looks like. Got tripped up right there. That was number eight. Who was that? Joel Litton for the Jays. Looks like he just slipped when he had an opportunity there. But the Jays have it once again into Joel Litton. That's number seven. Mitchell Dietrich for the Jays. Playing it in. Good defense by Gabe Lentz there. But it's right back to Nick Olsen. Yeah, Nick just keeps it in front of him. Olsen with the cross. Staying aggressive. Could be a goal here. Oh, and nope. good defense by the Eagles to clear that one out. That looked very promising for the Blue Jays. It's been a lot of that tonight so far for the Blue Jays. Yeah, they've been they've been around the goal okay, for most of the game. Gosh. Good save. Looks like Davis Folk was able to stop it. So Bryson Gosh got his first attempt there. He's had a lot. He's had the ball a lot tonight, but first time he was able, actually able to play it in. And it looks like it'll be a corner for the Blue Jays. Again, another set piece. So we'll see if they can go up 3-0 on this corner. After that last beautiful pass from Eli Ozick to Nick Olsen, got them their second goal of the night. You think the Blue Jays can score off this uh, this kick as well? Well, how they've been playing off of set pieces so far, there's definitely a good chance. Yeah, I would not be surprised. <laughs> looks like it would have been a goal there. Not sure what the call is here. It looks like they're... Some of the players upset with the call. Yeah, it looks like the Blue Jays fouled somebody in that jump and attempt for the ball there. So Liberty North will have a free kick from the box. Well, if there wouldn't have been a foul, it looks like it would be three to nothing right now. 
good leg strength right there. Passes it into Cade McKinnon. Jordan Guyana able to take it at midfield back to Graham Maddox. Graham Maddox pointed up, clears it towards the sideline, and Liberty North able to keep that one in. A lot of chippy play on the sideline tonight. A lot of these players right, getting riled up. Right in front of their teams. Probably makes it a lot more chippy, but Fuentes will have the throw in for the Blue Jays. That one's headed back by Al Grajka, but out of bounds. Liberty North with the throw in. So we'll have some subs now. 12 and a half minutes remaining in this first half. And like we said earlier, Blue Jays, Blue Jays just have looked like the better team. And North's going to have to get a lot going if they want to have a chance in this game. Got to say, North has had some good defense. They've really stayed in it. As the ball has been in there, like around their goal for most of the game, it seems like. So you got to give it to their defense at least. They're saving a lot, quite a few goals. Gaona plays it up the sideline to Alec Rajkob, and it looks like they haven't had another opportunity. That one passed into the box, but Davis Folk with a good jumping save there. Gaona. Davis Folk got there first. Hits it all the way across the field. Kid Eli Ozik. With another good header. Another header off of a goal kick. Seems like it's happened every time. He's always in perfect position. Always going to Eli Ozick. Oh, and it looks like My Mitchell Dietrich was not able to make that clean pass there. Just hit it too hard for Gaona. And now it'll be a throw in from midfield for Liberty North. Eli Ozick hits that one straight up into the air, and then Cade McKinnon heads it towards their side of the field. And Ozick will clear that one out of bounds. And a throw in for, well, like I said, I'll call him Damien for tonight. Number 22 on Liberty North. And cleared out of bounds again by the Jays. Graham Maddox there. Brady, who, who do you think have been the star players of the game tonight so far? I think so far from North, we've talked about Gabe Lentz. Yeah, For sure, he's had Good played well defensively. And I think, I think Bryson Gosh and Nick Olson have been very involved for the Blue Jays so far on the offensive side. I think Nathan's done a really good job, too, on the defensive side. He has. Him and Graham Maddox have been very involved, and Eli Ozick. Yes. Bryson Gosh will push it up the field. He's got a pretty big opening ahead of him. That'll be Joel Witten, and he oh. just kicks it back, but Nick Olson still able to take it. Through pass to Joel Witten. And a little bit of a push there by Liberty North. But no call. Carson Schmidt. And out of bounds. And the deflection by Nichols and out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in. Gabe Lentz here for Liberty North. Gets it to Jesse Duncan. He's trying to play it on the sideline. Gabe Lentz pushes it upfield. And Eli as it crosses to Fuentes, who's got a lane ahead of him. Good pass there to Nick, just too high over his head, though. And once again, Gabe Lentz will be making a pass across the field. Friggin' ball magnet. It's almost predictable at this point. <laughs> McKinnon and Maddox running up the field. McKinnon looks like he beat him in the foot race, but overran the ball. McKinnon able to keep it alive. Jesse Duncan with the ball. And nice. a good move there. Nice Another trick. good move. Two good moves to get into the middle of the field. Jesse Duncan just not able to get the goal. Too many defenders the, right there. Me, get the shot. And a good clear by Eli Ozick. Carson Schmidt now with the ball in the backfield for North. Aggressive play there. Bryson Gosh. Works out for him, though. Retain possession. And the shot. Hits it Very well close. just Very past close. the side of the goal. Great opportunity there for the Blue Jays. Nice moves by Bryson, though, I would say. He's really flashy with the with the foot skills. Yeah. Jesse Duncan as well on this side, though. Is that number four? Yeah, yeah that very, was very close. Really just said, had just a very good the opportunity dude. there, but like you said, when it looked like every time North had an opportunity, the Blue Jays' defense have been able to shut it down a lot better than the Eagles' defense has been able to shut down the Blue Jays' attacks. I would agree. 
Damien pushes it upfield. Has a lot of space ahead of him. And he'll cross it to Gabe Lentz, but Nick Olsen's able to break it up. Jesse Duncan straight ahead. A little bit of a push. And, and it's cleared out of bounds by Eli Ozick at mid from midfield. So it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. Number 21, Turner Van Duzer will take the throw. So it will field to Jesse Duncan, but Joel Witten will take it. Now Bryson Gosh once again pushing it. Good through pass to Litton, but Carson Schmidt able to clear that one out of bounds on the side. The throw for the Blue Jays into Joel Witten by the corner. <laughs> I just noticed it, but we have some. We have three. Keep that one in we have three ghost spectators over here by the student section. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see on the lot camera. That isn't but involved in soccer tonight. <laughs> that isn't one of those. It is spooky season. It is spooky season, and the they're Blue doing Jays the ghost trend. I, I have seen that on TikTok. The Blue Jays have spooked the Eagles so far tonight. We got some alt TikTokers here with their ghost, ghost costumes on. Let's see how the, if that can affect or spook some of the players here in this game tonight. So I don't think Liberty North needs more spooks tonight. <laughs> Damien takes the ball, passes it up to Duncan, but Jaden Fairmont was able to take that. <clears throat> Push up field by Bryson Gosh once again. And a good pass to Joel Witten. Oh, so just close. barely misses. Joel so with a great shot there. Fell over as he shot. He had a great it. opportunity there. Great effort. You gotta give it to him. It'll be another goal kick for the Eagles. Looks like Caden Maloney just came in the game for Cade McKinnon for the Eagles. McKinnon's I think McKinnon's played all night to this point. Yeah, I, I think so, so too. Obviously probably in need of a breather. And Carson Schmidt will take the goal kick. Raj Cobb pushes it up the sideline. Passes intended for Fuentes. But Raj Cobb hits it out of bounds. So North with a throw in on the far side. Preston Rhodes taking the throw in for Junior. the Eagles. And Sam Dine, I believe, is his first action of the night. Sam Dyer. Excuse me. Sam Dyer. Get it right, Thank Brady. you for correcting me. I'm just kidding. But it is Dyer. Damien hits that one upfield. And Cade Maloney with a good run. Jesse Duncan takes it in the middle of the field. Pass to Maloney. Looks like they had an opportunity here. But Fuentes is able to clear this one out for the time being. North keeps it on the attack. Porter with the ball. It would pass it into the middle for Gosh, and once again, Liberty has some opening in front of them. Gosh passes it to Olsen. Back to Gosh. And to Sam Dyer. Still running around in there. A lot of challenges by Liberty North, but Blue Jay is able to keep possession. Nick Olsen passes it in to Bryson Gosh outside of the box, has an opportunity to cross. Shoe coming off. I believe that was just grass oh. kicked up. I thought it was a shoe as well. Eli Ozick takes it in, hits it hard, but it rolls past the goal. What do you think Liberty North needs to do better to keep Liberty from having so many attacks. I think they need to get more clears, I'd say, just because, like, the defense is – they're doing a good job of keeping it out of the goal. But, yeah, i just say just try to be more aggressive and try to get it onto the Liberty side because, yeah, i just say be more aggressive. I agree. I try to Liberty, match Liberty's aggressive. Liberty's had so many opportunities, countless opportunities to say, and they've only had two goals, which isn't bad for how many opportunities – isn't bad by Liberty North's defense for how many opportunities they've allowed. Yeah. Nick Olson now with the ball. Looks like the ghosts have left, disappeared. I mean, they are ghosts, so. Maddox pushes it up the field. 
and Dyer hits it out of bounds. Like you said, the ghosts showed up for a few minutes to do their job, and they're gone now. I'm really confused on where they went. Looks like Gabe Lentz will throw it in once again for the Eagles. And Jaden Fairmont able to get in there. Nick Olson once again with the ball. Back to Eli Ozick. And stays in bounds. Alec Rochka able to keep it in. Great effort and they call to keep it, out it in of bounds. bounds right there. So it'll be a goal kick for the Eagles again. Good effort there, though. I couldn't tell if that ball had gone out of bounds or not a couple times, but it went out on the goal line. So Carson Schmidt will take the goal kick for the Eagles. Over the head of Cade Maloney, Fuentes able to hit it back to Maddox. Maddox clears that one towards the sideline. Cade Maloney takes it. And it looks like a, like a handball. Not sure who it was on, but it'll be a free kick for the Eagles. The half is almost over with 140 on the clock. Still Let's see if anybody see if anybody can make a late push here. North does have an opportunity right here. I would not be surprised to see. So they've only had push. a few set pieces so far, so they need to take advantage of this one. A good hit into the box. Oh, this could happen. Yeah, maybe. Once again, good defense from the Jays. North still has the ball in the the, the box. Excuse me. Looks like Liberty will try to put it back out, but Fuentes cleared North's that one out, but it. Carson Schmidt has it at midfield. Another cross in to Duncan. Hit well, but saved by Ty. Low ball, saved by Ty Ritchie. Nothing too challenging there. He's only had a couple oh. times that he's had to stop the ball yeah, tonight. Yeah, really many chances for him, which is good for the Eagles. Yeah, good, good, for the good for the Blue, Blue Jays. Jays. Good defense on their part. The goalie doesn't, doesn't have to work that hard. Davis Folk clears that one out. Now Bryson Gosh with the ball once again. Roger Cobb on the sideline up to Sam Dyer. 30 seconds left. Dyer in the corner crosses it and nice save by Davis. Falk falling down makes a good save. Yeah, like I said, he's had a lot more action than Ty Ritchie tonight. Only giving up two goals for how many opportunities the, yeah, lots the Blue of good Jays saves have had. And it looks like it'll be a foul on Jaden Faramond there. So the Eagles will have a free kick. Five seconds Time running left. out here in the second half. Looks like North will try to push One last it the chance. last second. And they do not get it. Time will be back after. In the first half. And you heard it well. Blue Jays are winning 2-0 at half over the Eagles. See you next half. Hawthorne Bank believes in its customers and their dreams for the future. About five years ago when we had a smaller space and it was time to, to move, I had a, a vision for what I wanted and Hawthorne was the one that could see the vision. Honestly, I don't think it could have happened without Hawthorne Bank. I'm Kent Peterson, Market President for Hawthorne Bank. We are proud to support Liberty Public Schools and the Liberty community. Hawthorne Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, here at the Liberty Soccer Complex at Liberty Middle School. Blue Jays are winning 2-0 after halftime and North will kick it off to start the second half. So now that we've switched sides, maybe North will have some more momentum. We'll yeah, see maybe, what they can do. Superstition or something like that. Cade McKinnon playing aggressive to begin the half. And once again, Gabe Lentz in that spot that he's done so well at Queen. And he'll also have the throw. I was actually mistaken North's record earlier. I said 1-0, and but they're actually 6-0. and Yeah, so I guess the thing we were researching off of was inaccurate. Yeah, don't look at max preps. Or be happy to update the website because that would be nice. 
that'd be nice. Nice trip. So, I guess we're, we're just doing self promotions now. But it looks like Liberty will have a throw near their corner. Alec Rajkov will throw the ball in for the Jays. And he'll try to get that one into Bryson Gosh. He will back out to Rajkov. And he crosses that one high, but out of bounds. But a good attempt there. Just another chance for the Blue Jays, starting off this half, already being the aggressors early in the second half. That's something we've seen all game. Like you said, if it wasn't for Davis Folk, Blue Jays would possibly have way more goals, but he's had a few great saves yeah, tonight. A great game. Fuentes will take this one, pass it back to Maddox. Bruce Steven does a good job of not letting North really get into that goal area. I agree with that. They did a great job of that in the first half. I mean, obviously, North hasn't even really had that many shots. Maybe like two or three. Okay, so it looks like they, looks like they call it a foul on Rajkov there. So North will have a free kick. It'll be Carson Schmidt for Liberty North. Passes this in over to North. Cade Maloney t tries to take it, but it's a great clear out of bounds for Eli Ozick, and now the Jays can set up defensively as it's a throw in from Preston Rhodes for Liberty North. Rajkov takes it in the corner. We'll try to get out of there for the Jays. Be a goal kick for the Jays. The Eagles wanted a corner there, of course, but. Richie will take the goal kick for the Blue Jays. Gets this one into the middle of the field. Good header towards their, their goal by Carson Schmidt. Nice clear by Frankie Fuentes. Opportunity here for Nick Olsen. But good defense from Gabe Lenz once again. <laughs> it's the shoes, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Roger Cobb has the ball, pushing it into the box. Ooh, the inline, great move there. Oh, and a good save. Jordan Gaona hit that one perfectly, but it was right at Davis it's full. Shot, yeah, it's right at Davis. But once again, the Jays early having a lot of aggression. But Eagles definitely still well in this game, only down two goals. Just need to start doing better on their attacks. And it'll be a throw for the Blue Jays on the op opposite side. That one goes into Lucas Porter, who will try and take it into his own box. Crosses it to Rajkob, but it's broken up from the Eagles. And now Ozik has it in the backfield. Passes it back to Maddox. And Fairmont passes it in, and Folk will slide and make the save smoothly. <clears throat> you think North has made any changes that stand out so far in the second half? I do think their defense is being a little more aggressive, but it looks just about the same because it's just it's just on their side the whole entire for the most of the most of the game, most of this half at least. I agree. Damien will take this one in for Liberty North. Headband man. See if he can do anything here. He has it in the middle of the field, and he hits it well, but Ty Ritchie makes a good save. Damien, Damien Hirides showed some flash there, though, for Liberty North. Yeah, it was pretty flashy. Nice shot by him. Ty Ritchie just made a good save. Yeah, it was right at, him. right at him inside the post. Rajkov with the header. Joel Litton falls down for the, the Blue Jays, excuse me. Carson Schmidt will take it for the Eagles. Clears that one upfield. Graham Maddox breaks it up with the header. Brady, who the do you think line. will be the next team to score? Well, so far this half, it looks like the Eagles have done a little bit better to keep the ball towards their side of the field. I agree. But the Blue Jays still seem to have a lot more aggression and opportunities. But McKinnon will take this one for the Eagles. Yeah, I'm going to take the 
probably the not as popular opinion and say, I think the Eagles actually will score right here. Especially knowing that they really need to score. If they get on three, it's going to be that's going to be a deciding. And that one's out of bounds by the Eagles. Yeah, I gotta say it looks like they're doing a little bit better job of being aggressive. This yeah, half. and I was gonna say if the if the Blue Jays score again, that'll be obviously going down three nothing is a lot worse than being down two one. Yeah, a lot of faith it will be shot if that happens. Yeah. So I think the Eagles are definitely on edge more than they have been yet in this game. They definitely need to score here. Still plenty of time. They just need to start getting more opportunities, and that's what it is. The Jays have had so many opportunities, only two goals, but they're still winning because they've had so many more opportunities. The Eagles can just have so many chances in, in soccer. If you have a few chances, you're going to have a few goals usually. Folk will take this one outside of the box into Carson Schmidt. Schmidt will pass that one up to Gabe Lentz. Back to McKinnon. And Lucas Porter is able to take that one away. Spins off of the defender there. Back to Graham Maddox with the pass. Maddox running with it up to Lucas Porter. Passes it to Nick Olsen in midfield. And Olsen tries to cross, but Preston Rhodes was there to get in the way of it. Good pass there up to Cade Maloney. Maloney with a little side tap, but Fuentes is able to get in there. Hard header by the Eagles. Jordan Gaona with the ball. Ooh. It looks like we have Gaona is down in the middle of the field. Looks like he's a little hurt right now, but slow to his feet. Gets See, it. Just slow to his feet. Okay. See if he can walk it off. Looks like he will. Doesn't look it like does it on purpose. It looks like it is. Mm, just a physical play. It will be a free kick for the Blue Jays. Yeah, it looks like Gaona will stay in the game for the Blue Jays. And now it'll be a set piece for the Blue Jays, something they've done well all night. They had a goal on a really free kick from farther out than this. Let's see if they can do it again. A little lower than last time, so they do not and get it. Broken up there by North. That one was broken up very quickly. And Jaden Fairmont's able to get in there as North had a lot of space there and a great opportunity. It's taken on the sideline and cleared by Liberty North. So we just have a throw in pretty close to their box again. Oh, oh and a great cross. Rod just a little bit ahead of Rajakov there. A little more behind. That pass is a little more behind. I think he definitely would have scored right there. For sure. That was a great opportunity great there. Positioning. Roger Cobb made a great effort there. Just that pass was amazing. Though. That was from really far back. Yeah, seen a few great passes tonight. And the Jays have had come very close on scoring more Many than a few occasions. Too. Lots of good shots. Sliding pass from Eli Ozick there. But North will clear that one for the time being. Blue Jays do still have a throw in. And Gosh will leave it for someone else. Jaden Fairmont will <clears throat> throw it in for the Jays. Once again, close to their target, they're able to set something up and probably have another opportunity. Rajakov has it here, passes to Fuentes, who will take it towards the corner, passes back to Rajakov. And he'll cross that one up. Fuen Rockoff, excuse me, Davis Folk. Right there. Davis Folk hit that one out, though. Yeah, nice. Rajkov had a great defense. chance on the pass there. There's not enough liberty and offenders right there to really do something with that. Yeah. Good opportunity, though, for sure. Carson Crop comes in for the Eagles. First action he's seen in the second half. Throw in for the Eagles. Oh, and a little bit of a push by number five on the Blue Jays, Jaden Fairmont. So the Eagles will have a free kick. We'll see if they can use a set piece to their advantage. They've only had a few of these. It seems like most of the time the refs are not calling these pushes, but not when they did. Yeah, like I said, lots of physical play, especially in a rivalry game like this. I, I'm letting a lot of things go. has done, been pretty good this game. Yeah, and a great catch there by Ty Ritchie. Yeah, great save. 
Tied able to keep great, that one cleanly. Rajkov with the pass ahead to Litton. Eagles able to break it up. Ooh. Good clear, but it's right to Gaona. And Litton has some space. Maybe a chance here for the Blue Jays. But he hits it up, and Folk with a great <laughs> Odell-like catch <laughs> on the save. Caught it like a wide receiver right there. Yeah, and it was good running play to get in there. And has quite a few saves, it feels like. He's racking them up tonight with how many opportunities the Jays have had. Only able to hold him to two so far. I was like, we'll pass it back to Ty Ritchie. He'll kick it towards midfield. Litton to Gosh. Back to Maddox. They're doing a good job of passing the ball around. Yeah, good lots chemistry. of great ball movement. I've got to say, this game is a lot. I had a lot of good chemistry from Blue Jays. And North almost had a great opportunity there. I was like, was able to keep, keep that from a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie for Liberty North, which could have been their first goal of the night if that one would have. Yeah, definitely a good shot for them. But it does not end up happening. Maddox keeps that one in, so North will still have the ball here over on the sideline. Jesse Duncan now with it. And a sliding, ch sliding challenge there by Nicholson. But North will have the throw in. And over the head of number 20, Eric Lewis for the Eagles. Once again, apologize if I said his name wrong. But it'll be a goal kick for the Blue Jays. Ty Ritchie will take it here. 27-20 on the clock. Would you agree that North has done a better job of being more aggressive and keeping it on the Blue Jays side of the field? I think this, so this far time. in this half they've done better. Still very much outplayed on the offensive end by yeah, the Blue Jays. But, but, but definitely better than they were in the first They're making more attempts, and yes. they still have time to figure it out, but they need to, they need to get into the Blue Jays' defense a little bit more and have more opportunities before they really have a solid opportunity to even this game up. Yeah, it looks like at halftime, though, they came up with a good strategy or something to to face these Blue Jays a little better. Ozick passes that up to Gosh in the middle of the field. Puts that in, but Folk is there to make the save. Folk will hit this one deep. Ozick once again getting it. And it'll be a foul on Ozick there as he probably pushed him midair. But yeah, once again, Ozick on the header. Seems to always be Ozick. Seems to be a common occurrence. I mean, it does help that he's like very tall. He's probably very tall out on this field. Him and Gabe Lentz defensively, I think, have probably made a biggest splash on their teams. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Here is Carson Schmidt. Another set piece for North. I think they've actually had more set pieces this half so far. So they need to try and take advantage, like I said. This one hit well into the box, but it's right to Ty Ritchie, who's there to make the Straight grab. Down. And he'll quickly clear this one out, but it's right to Carson Schmidt. Looks like Eagles can make a good push right here. See if they can do anything with it. Nope, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Bryson Gosh passes it upfield, but Jesse Duncan for the Eagles is able to get there. Davis Falk clears that one out. We got a train in the distance, if you can't tell. <laughs> Don't know if our Nashville sound mic is picking that up, but there's been a dog barking all game and now a train. That went nice right to Falk. That was a great hit, though. Yeah, very far back shot. I said Jaden Fairmont on the shot. But once again, Folk with the save. He's had quite a few already in this half. Pretty good verticals, I'd say. Definitely necessary for to be a good goalkeeper. Definitely got those bunnies. A little bit of a push there as Eric Lewis hit that one out of bounds for North. And there'll be a sub, so we'll stop here for a second. There'll be a throw in for Liberty North. Henry K. A. comes into the game as Eric Lewis goes out for Liberty North. So just a single substitution. And now inbounding will be Preston Rhodes for North. 
It was right on the sideline. Hit well up in the air by the Eagles. And McKinnon will pass it forward to Henry Kage. Plays that one on the ground. Ozick might have been a little bit of a flagrant challenge. Looks like there could have been a foul there, but could have no definitely call. been a foul, but they let that pretty one chippy go. down on the ground right there. Sliding clearance by I'm very surprised they didn't call that. What Eagles. do you think? Yeah, there's been a couple that could have definitely been fouls that they've let go, but there's not been too many crazy things that they've missed. Yeah, I don't think it really affected anything, so it doesn't really matter. Carson Gosh clears this one in. Opportunity here for the Jays. And the Eagles will let that one go to get a goal kick. Yeah, there's been there's been a few challenges that have been questionable, but for the most part it's been doesn't look like anything's game. It's been changing. it's been physical. Yeah. It's been physic, physical plays that have just been what you expect, especially in a rivalry game like this. So now the Eagles will have a goal kick. It looks like Carson Schmidt will take it. We got 23 minutes left on the clock. Still, Still plenty of time. time. Jays. And Ozick once again <laughs> there. Ozick once again. This one passed up. And Graham Maddox clears that one. The Eagles will still have a good opportunity to throw in near their corner here. Duncan hits it in. Ty Ritchie able to make the save. Ty Ritchie getting a lot more action this, this second half. Yeah, the here, Eagles have so. definitely done a better job moving the ball on their side of the field. Okay, Ona here. Passes it back to Maddox. Maddox across to Jaden Fairmont. There's that dog barking you were talking about. You don't have to shut up. But I think maybe you're cheering for one of these two teams. <laughs> what team do you think the dog is cheering for? If you had to pick one. Well, considering we're in Liberty, Ter Liberty Blue Jays right, territory. Liberty District, not North. I assume that's what he's cheering for. <laughs> or it could be a sheet. Could be a sheet. We don't never know. Assume. It is 2020. Folk will take this one. I think it sounds like a male dog. Can I to say? Once again, we we want to assume that. Fairmont takes it for the Blue Jays. Passes it up to Bryson Gosh. Blue Jays play it on the sideline. Jaden Fairmont hits it up, and it looks like Carson Schmidt will take it for the Eagles. Crosses. Raj Cobb will challenge here. So Jays have done a really good job of applying some pressure, especially when... Close enough to Gaona. Okay, I want to get to Tarajkov in the corner. And Olsen just misses the cross from Rajkov there. Checking in for the Eagles, number seven, Scott Jarvis, number 14, K. Maloney, in for the Jays. I believe this is I believe this is Scott Jarvis's first action of the game, so we'll see if he can make a difference tonight. Is Aiden Caden coming into the game for the Eagles? So we'll see what the Eagles can do. It'll actually be the Blue Jays ball here in their corner. A throw in for Raj Cobb. Like Bryson Jays Gosh takes it. Right here. He hits it. Just on a great goal. save by Davis Folk. Showing those bunnies again. It's the crossbar, but he tips it over. I believe I believe that was Joel Witten. Joel Witten was able to take that pass and hit that one towards shot. the top of the goal. But yeah, great jumping save by Davis Folk. All around great play. Yeah, and it'll be, at the end of it, it'll still just be a corner for the Blue Jays. So, North does so much to keep the ball out of the goal, and then the Blue Jays just keep reapplying more and more opportunities. Oh, and Ozick had a open header, just not able to hit it. Just, just a little bit off. Not able to hit it right. I gotta say, Ozick's about to use his head in this, in this game more than just use his feet. I wouldn't doubt that. But yeah, it's, 
say we haven't been keeping track, but you might be right on that. <clears throat> Schmidt will once again take a goal kick. Jane Fairmont takes it. Now Bryson Gosh. I think these last five minutes, Liberty's done a better job of keeping it on their side, just like they were in the first half. Yeah, I agree with that. And Damien with some flashy moves right and there. Damien has showed a lot of flash tonight for the Eagles. Oh, oh and an aggressive challenge from the Eagles. It looks like that was Scott Jarvis for the Eagles. Knocked over Nick Olsen. Nick Olsen's slow to get up. Oh, it looks like he's fine. So it will now be a free kick from the Blue Jays. Ty Ritchie will take it. There from Nick Olson. Jarvis for the Eagles takes it, and then Cade Maloney passes it up the sideline, but it is out of bounds. So the Blue Jays will take the throw. They quickly throw it in. Nick Olson tries to take it up the sideline, and it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. So a lot of play over there on the opposite sideline. That's how it's been on the half. The side that Gabe Lentz and those players who were on our side in the first half are on that side now, and it seems they've been the most involved in the game. I agree. Looks like North, with 17:30 uh, left in the game, North really needs to do something here to come back, or for it's too late. So it's just always seems to be on the Jays' side. It, just, it really does. It looks like the Jays probably will score sometime in the next five minutes. Would be my prediction. Across it, Jade, Jaden Fairmond, Gabe Lentz pushing on the defensive side, and Rajkov kept that one in. Oh, and nice Keona save. with a great shot. What a save by Davis. What a, just a great all around play by everybody involved in that. Rajkov somehow kept that one in, and then Gayona had a great shot, but it was right to Davis Folk, and Folk was able to catch a laser beam. Keona now looking to push. Ooh. Aggressive play there. Henry Kage with an aggressive play there. Pretty shit. Pushed over game. Jordan Gayona. And Jordan yeah. Gayona's been beaten up a couple times tonight. No card, though. Ozik will take the free kick. We saw one from about this distance that. Ended up in a goal earlier, so we'll see if he can see do it again. Same curve on it. See if, see if he looks for Nick Olsen again on the header. Here's the kick. That went high. Hit well. Just over and the And almost goal. connected. Another great set piece free kick from that far out. That easily could have been a goal. You know, I always had a couple great hit balls tonight on set pieces, and that time it was Joel Litton on the header, but mm -hmm. just over. too high. But I think Davis would have been there anyway, to be honest. Well, considering the night he's had, it's hard to get stuff by him. It seems one of the two, I believe one of the two goals was an own goal. Let's see if they can do it here with the corner. Olsen hits the corner in, and over just the over the bar. Again. The third time in the last, like, five minutes. Jesse Duncan. Duncan comes in for the Eagles. Duncan back in the game. He's been involved a lot in this game. A lot of flashy plays. He almost had the first goal earlier for almost the Eagles. broke someone's ankles in that first half. Pretty much did. Twice in the same play. I know. That was pretty impressive. Here he is now, but the Blue Jays regained possession. Duncan on the sideline. Ooh, keeps it in bounds. Very speedy here. See what he can do here. Hits it up in the air. Damien with a little bit of shove on Gayona, and Gayona clears that one out of bounds. So Gayona was once again, might have been pushed around a little bit, yeah, it but it's just physical. Really just getting pushed around by this Eagles team, but doing his best to. Yeah, just physical aggressive. play. Gayona's been at the center of that. 
And now we have throw in close to their corner for the Eagles. That is Preston Rhodes throwing it in to Damien for the Eagles. And they put him into the corner. Fuentes hits it out of bounds. So another throw in for the Eagles. Fuentes hits that one upfield. And it's off of the Eagles. So the Blue Jays will once again have the ball. Looks like they're going to push it up the And field Bryson right Gosh, here. just too far for him, and the Eagles have it. And Gabe Lentz. Duncan with the ball. Up to Lentz. Now Nick Olson. The Eagles trying to make a push. Now have a, they've had a couple opportunities, but now Joel Litton has the ball. Running fast with it. Oh. And Takes a hard hit. Hard hit. Slow to get up, but Very he hard. seems fine. So we, we still remain to not have... <clears throat> oh, no, it will be a yellow. Man. I thought it was just going to be called a normal foul, so I was going to say we haven't had any... Yeah, no any, cards of the game. We haven't had a card yet, hard. but that's the first card, and that card was on Turnovan Doozer, I believe. So... Just a yellow, but now the Jays have a set piece from fairly close, and they've been great on those tonight. So it'll be Nick Olsen taking the free kick. See what he does. Looks to cross. Him and, him and Rajkov both there. We'll see who takes it. It'll be Nick Olsen. And North the Eagles able to clear Jalousy. that one out. Great defense there. And now Kid Maloney has the ball. Pushes it up. Pushes it up. Great move. He's got some space, but, Liberty right but there, Jaden yeah. Faramon with a great defense. North will have a throw in, but now the Jays will have some time to set up their D. And now with 13 minutes left, under 13, min there, under 13 minutes left, you really think North needs to capitalize on one of these opportunities. And we have not had a goal in the last 18 minutes of this half, scoreless half. I don't think we've had a goal in this half yet. No, we have not. It's been two, two nothings all the time. Bryson Gosh is there, and they're now working at upfield once again. Olsen in there. Missed opportunity once again for the Jays. Hit it well, just a good deflection, and I believe, I believe that was Gabe Lentz on the deflection. We are talking about how great he's been defensively. Just another play where he's involved there. Just another great showing for him. So now Olsen will take the penalty, excuse me, the corner kick for the Jays. They've now had the last few set pieces. And they will come up short once again. And but very close. Not sure what the call was there. I think it might have I think it just went out of bounds. No, now the ref's talking to yeah, players look a little confused. Ref's too. talking to the coach here of the Blue Jays. Coach Raj Cobb a little upset with that call. Not sure what the call even was. But the, the Eagles have... Still take down, but no one's doing anything. The Eagles have the goal kick, and Coach Raj Cobb is very angry about that call. The ref signals the play. Up in the air by the Eagles, and now Olsen has the ball once again. So I'll see if the Jays can earn back the opportunity that they had taken away just moments ago. Lucas Porter hits it up to Bryson Gosh over on the far side. He's trying to work it in here. To Jaden Fairmond over in the corner. So we have 10 minutes left. On and the he lets that one go out. And once again, the Jays have a corner. Now under 10 minutes, like you said, Nick Maybe Olsen. We'll see something here, but I kind of doubt it after they've had so many opportunities. Say anything can happen, but the Jays look to be in strong control of this game. Now Logan Young is back in the game. He'll take the corner kick. He'll take the corner, yeah. He, I believe this is the first time he's been in the game since this, he was taken out in the early in the first half. So he'll take the corner, see what he can do here. Hit high up there. And the header was a little too high. Just a little bit too high. 
seems like all these corner kicks have gone over the goal. So Nathan Bills had the header there, and yeah, it just went a little too high. And what's really needing to do something to get back in this game. See if they can try Schmidt it. will take the goal kick. Brady, what do you think North has to do to? I just think they have to. I think they have to get the ball on their side of the field and create some opportunities. We've been talking about that all night. They just haven't been able to do it here. They started the second half off better than they've finished it so far. Yeah, I'd say these last like 10 minutes, though, Liberty's really Liberty has really Liberty has really controlled the game the probably more than they. Even though they haven't scored a goal in this half, I think they've controlled the game better than they had to this point so I far. I don't think their goal right now is to score a goal. I mean, obviously no. it is, but I think they're just trying to keep the ball away from the Eagles. Yeah, And they're doing a I great agree. job of it. They're doing a great job. North just hasn't been able to work anything so far. Now Folk, once again, feeling pressure, back, backed into his goal. And now Porter takes it. And the Jays have basically just doing what we just talked about. They've had it on their side. They're just, just controlling. Had it on the, on the Eagles' side all game. And that one will roll past the right post. So the Eagles will have a goal kick. But coming up on eight minutes left, the Eagles have got to get the ball onto the Blue Jays' side and create a few opportunities. I'm going to call it that is going to Eli Ozick. That would be, good, now. would be a good call. And it won't. It'll it go to Jaden Fairmont that time. But Liberty does go to the side. A couple headers there by the Eagles and the Jays. But again, the Jays have the ball. Jay, Logan Young pushes it up in the middle. Has it in the box. Good pass there to Bryson Gosh. Deflected there. Fuentes comes up on it. Eric. Looks like Eric. Eric Lewick. Senior Jacob Fuller back into the game for Bryson Gosh. Four and Young. Seniors both back in the game now. Seven minutes left. <clears throat> Fuentes will throw it in. Sam Dyer. Once again, the Jays just keeping away from the Eagles. Nice Good clear. clear. Don't think it was Kate Wentz that time. No, it was not. That's, a, that's rare. Graham Maddox with the ball in the backfield, and he'll get it back to Richie. So North needs to do this more. They need to apply this kind of pressure. Yeah, they so obviously they have to bring their tempo up, honestly. They obviously have tired legs, but if they're going to do it, it has to be now. Yeah. They only have six and a half minutes left. left. Maddox with the ball now, and this is where North really needs to get the ball. If you were Liberty, would you go for the goal, or would you just try to keep it away from them at this point? Uh, I think, I mean, I think they just keep the ball. And it looks like a card might be given out here. Just a fact. So, you know, the fans were just a little bit fed up there. Yeah, fans were not too happy. It was definitely, yeah. definitely a foul on Nathan Bills there. Now North trying to push it. That's Maloney, but Ozick with the hard clear to get the Jays' defense set up. Ozick trying to trying to just give everyone a breather right there, probably. Now Turner Van Duzer is back in the game, and he comes in for Sam Uggleson of the Eagles. Rhodes inbounds for the Eagles, and now in their corner they need to make something happen. Ozick wants to be kicking it out of bounds. Yeah. A lot of good defense by him. Him and Gabe Wentz both, I think, are the defensive MVPs of each team. But Ozick's been a lot more involved in the second half than Wentz has. And Ozick we'll see, and it looks... Not sure what the call was. Do you know what the call was? I think it was a handball by Ozick. But well, it looks like we're going to have a PK from... The Eagles are going to have a PK. And the time stops on this. It's 5:14 left. So this is clock. important. Liberty North definitely has a chance here to Ty get Ritchie into really it. being tested here. Hasn't had too much action tonight, but this is huge. Luckily for the Jays, they're up two, and they still have plenty of time. They still have a lot of time that they have to kill to win this game. But Damian with a kick right here. This is huge for the Eagles as Damian will come up and closest best opportunity obviously the Eagles have had all night. So we'll see what they can do. And Richie being tested. And Damien scores. Just confuses him. Richie stands, not sure where to go with it. And it was hit well by Damien there. 
They mean just kind of faking. So it's now 2-1. The, the Blue Jays still lead, but the Eagles cut the lead in half. Now, if you were the, if you were the Jays, would you still go for that goal, or would you just try to hold on to the – run the clock out? Well, I think now you – Kind of really want to go for that goal. Yeah, I think just now the objective is more – you don't want to play – You don't want to play too safe. But you you don't want to play too conservative safe. when you're only up one goal. Yeah. Because the game could change like the, in an instant. Yeah, only five minutes left. But the Jays now have the ball, and now the Eagles really need to apply pressure. Only have – coming up on five minutes left. The P PK obviously helps, but and the Gaona here slips. Oh, come on! And might have sold that one a little bit, but yeah, there was definitely some contact. And now the Blue Jays will have a f free kick. Eli Ozick will take it from closer than we've seen him already take it twice tonight. So we'll see if he hits it even better. From this distance, this is the one person the Jays. Are this helps the Jays. They have plenty of right plenty of time is running off the clock for them, and they're definitely not in a hurry to get this thing going. But the Eagles really need to stop and a clear and an attack, all in a matter of and it looks like a little minutes. Too far. And they don't. And Jays with another corner kick right here. Looks like Nick Olson. Offsides has been called. Looks like a lot of confusion. Yeah, offsides was called by the line ref, but the center ref didn't see it. So it took it took some seconds off the clock, but now the Eagles, with the time stopped, have the kick. So 4-4, plenty of time. Now that they're only down one goal, they obviously have time. Yeah, one attack exactly. can tie the game up. One shot. Hit well. Was like, it's not gonna the Eagles do it. have possession of the ball here. Jesse Duncan taking it upfield. And the Eagles have it. They get it into the box. Ooh. And good stop. There's just a wall of Blue Jays there to stop it. And it's Great D. cleared out by the Blue Jays. But the Eagles will quickly move it on the throw-in. Ooh. Jen Fairmont. Took a hard hit right there. Gets knocked over. Holding his head. And that one, he took a hard fall there that on the throw like in. Slow to get up. Looks like he'll be okay. Not a good sight to see right there. Mm -mm. It'll be a throw. It'll be a throw for the Eagles. James Fairmont, still trying to shake that off. Fairmont's still trying to shake that off. Clock is stopped here. We got 3.37 left on the clock, 2-1 Jays lead. And they'll take their time let Fairmont have a second as he took a hard fall there. No substitution for him. Though. Falky giving out commands for his team from the other side of the field. I don't know, call a foul. So it is the Jays ball. They call a foul on the Eagles. So it took a second. Time did not run off the clock. They stopped it there. But now Fairmont will have a free kick from the cor near the corner. And that one over the head of Litton. Carson Schmidt was able to get the header. And now the Eagles hit it upfield. Trying to get it down the sideline. And it's the Blue Jays ball with a throw in. So yeah, the Eagles running out of time. They need to keep it on their side of the field. They've done well in the last few minutes of that. Since the PK, it looks like they had a little bit more momentum. Yeah, ever since they've scored that one goal, it looks like they've definitely been more confident in their play. So we got three minutes left. Ball is Jay's side of the field, or north side of the field. Jay's will have the ball. Yeah, they'll be inbounding here as it was hit out by the Blue Jays, or the Eagles. <clears throat> now the Blue Jays trying to work it in cross it, but Rhodes was there, and then Damien hits it in. Roger Cobb not able to get it as North was able to break that up, and offsides on the Jays again. 2.30 level, see if the Eagles can do something here with it. Yeah, the Eagles moving with the quickest tempo we've seen all night, obviously. Lots they have a chance right to tie it. Picked up field, Jen Fairmont. Trying to get it out of there. And he trips up, and the Jays look like it looks they like get there's it. a goal kick. 
So solid defense from the Jays there. The Eagles moved that ball quickly upfield. Eagles but definitely showing some aggressiveness on that last drive, though. The Jays held strong there. And now we're coming up on two minutes left. And Richie has a free kick. Goal kick. Olsen tries to keep that in, but the ball goes out. And the Eagles will inbound it. Around midfield here. Rhodes has it. Tries to hit it upfield, and Roger Cobb clears it right towards here. the side. Litton has a shot and a Ooh. good deflection by Carson Schmidt. Great D right Could here. have been the game ceiling goal there. Oh. Tripped up. And a big push from Joel Litton. Eagles have no time to no time. get mad about yeah, that. They just have to move going. the ball. They did get the free ball. kick, but now Fairmont has the ball again, moving it up the sideline. Eagles making a good push. Good clear by the Jays. The Eagles have definitely gotten more opportunities now than we've seen consistently now than we've seen all game. And they got to keep doing that. There's still time, but not very much of it. Fairmont heads that one out. Olsen clears it. And as you heard the PA announcer say, there's one minute left in the game. Both teams getting really chippy here right at the end, trying to push for that Maloney goal. hits it up to Damien. No call. Gaona's on the ground, but there's no call. And Fuentes clears that one. Good, smart move by Fuentes on that one with 40 so seconds runs left. more time off the clock, but it's an inbound for North. Maloney hits it. Good shot. Hard and just too good. high. And they, had, they, had left. To, they had to create an opportunity, even if it was an unlikely one. Now to be a goal kick for the Jays as time is running out. Jays now, take their time on this as they want the clock to run down. Coming up on 15 seconds. Time's not stopping. It'll now take the. It'll take the Eagles. It'll take a miracle for the Eagles to get this. Looks like the Jays will come up with the dub right here. And Litton hits it up in the air to run the timeout, and that'll do it. What a game we have seen. Two one Jays over the Eagles for senior night. Heard it from the PA announcer himself. It has been a great game to watch, and we thank you for tuning in. Yes, thank you all for coming and viewing this spectacular game with us tonight. Crosstown rivalry, senior night for the Blue Jays. They take the dub to the bragging one. rights. <laughs> yeah, they take the dub and the bragging rights two to one. So, good game for them. Thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, thank Have you. a great night. You too. Hawthorne Bank believes in its customers and their dreams for the future. About five years ago when we had a smaller space and it was time to, to move, I had a, a vision for what I wanted and Hawthorne was the one that could see the vision. Honestly, I don't think it could have happened without Hawthorne Bank. I'm Kent Peterson, Market President for Hawthorne Bank. We are proud to support Liberty Public Schools and the Liberty community. Hawthorne Bank, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC.